Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're back for part two. Yay. <laughs> um, are you stagnant or are you overflowing? And I love, I have to say this because I'm a comedian. Uh, <laughs> it remi- or you think you are. <laughs> um, I was just telling the girls that when I hear that, are you, I think about the Lucy thing where it says, are you tired? Do you poop out of parties? <laughs> well, try our vitamin Jesus. That's yes! right. That's right. <laughs> High potent vitamins. <laughs> yeah. All the energy you need. Yes. Because um, the Lord showed me something, you know, when he gave me this, you know, gave me this show. He said, cry with the ones that want to cry and laugh with the ones mm, that yes. want that, that laugh. So it, a merry heart is good, good medicine. medicine. Yes. 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 And, you know, if you tune into my show, you're going to cry and laugh maybe at the same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But we're talking about um, being stagnant or overflowing. Um, for those of you who did not see the first part, this is Precious. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Priscilla Ringel from Meet Me at the Well Broadcast. Yes, we have one of our precious little broadcasters <laughs> and my little precious friend here. Teresa. Yes. And da 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 da. <laughs> and I'm Kelly, Pastor Debbie's daughter. Happy to be here. Yay. Yes. I mentioned her and her her trials and her tribulations so many times, um, you know, during the during my show. And I'm just so proud of her. She's come a long, 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 long way. And um, I usually say a shout out to Tammy, but she's here. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. <clears throat> so on the second part, I started to read something that was pretty powerful. I wanted to get um, the synonyms of stagnant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I wrote, and I found dormant, idle, inactive, lifeless, listless, sluggish, static, um, um, standing, passive, immobile. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And and um, these are powerful, powerful words. And we were talking about the things in our lives. You were sharing about the vision that God gave you when you think about stagnant Mm -hmm. and um, you were also starting to share. um, One thing I wanted to ask you is when you get in that place and you know you're stagnant, how do you come out? I just have to stop everything I'm doing Uh and be very, very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. Um, and usually it's at that midnight hour when I'm like, oh my God, Lord, please help me. I need help. Please, Lord, please, Lord. I can't do this by myself. I don't want to do this by myself. I know I told you I can do anything by myself and I can stomp and, and raise my voice and scream and yell at the trees that are 10 acres of nothing. But, um, I really need God every, every second because he's the only one that gives me the, the energy and gives me the the positive reinforcement mm-hmm. and um, renews my mind because yes. my mind is literally like my worst enemy and I could just sit there and wallow oh, in so this murky, dark, yes. nasty, muddy place. Yes. Um, and I can just listen to those voices that say nothing's going to change and you're going to be miserable and this place is terrible yeah. and these people are crazy and your life is never going to change and I can just sit there and just like physically just be exhausted and emotionally drained and super sad and angry all at the same time. And then I just stop everything I'm doing and it's like, I can do this with the Lord's help. I can do this. Please, Lord, help me. And he does every single time. And then I wake up the next morning like, what was wrong with me yesterday? Why did I let the devil get the best of me? And yeah. I always do this. It's like every other day. It's like a battle. I just have to put on my headphones or whatever and just not listen to the devil's lies because as soon as I do, I become that stagnant person that we're talking about. And Teresa, when you think of the word stagnant, what's the vision that God gives you? I see like, uh, you know, those man-made lakes, how you have Mm. like this 
uh, that's good. green algae. Yes. yes. And uh, like it smells that's so good. bad. And yes. it's like slimy. Yes. Yes. It's just, oh. That's good. Uh, it, that's what I see. Mm. And it's not a good place to be. And I don't want to smell. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to be slimy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't want to be filthy. So my question is, if you find yourself in that stagnant place, what do you do to, to pull yourself out? Sometimes it's hard to get out. Um, yep, to be of honest, that, yeah, of that place. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that above all else, God loves me, and um, He pursues yes. us. Yes. yes, and He chases after us. Mm -hmm. And he'll send people mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to pray for us and uh, intercede for us. And it hasn't been easy to get out of that place, but I've been out of that place. What, what do you say, about two months now? <laughs> about two months. About yeah. two months I've been out of that place. Glory and, to God. And, and I think you mentioned some, oh, no, it was you, Priscilla, that mentioned something about keeping that fire alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I, I've been keeping the fire alive. And, and many of you might ask, how do you keep mm -hmm. that fire alive? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what I do personally. When I wake up, I say something simple as, I crucify this flesh. Mm. I am not so, of this flesh, amen. but I am the spirit. I aligned every thought yes. with the Holy Spirit. Yes. I die to myself. That's Empty it. me of me yes. and fill me with you. That's yes. awesome. Yes. That's the Hallelujah. first thing Hallelujah. that I do. Wow. Yes. My yes. second thing yes. is, I get into uh, my uh, reading time. I read yes. my word. I read... Um, my daily devotions mm -hmm. and my third thing is i get into my praise and worship mm -hmm. yeah. and um i give that time to god and um there's times that i just because of my circumstances <laughs> or whatever i'm going on in my life mm -hmm. i just kneel and cry out mm -hmm. to god and he will just be there and just shower me with his love and embrace me but also get out of myself yes exactly. and i start texting women how can i pray for you today oh, and um amen. when i do that and i get out of myself and right. do something for someone else right that's right how oh, god helps me yes. you need the distraction and, of your own wallowing to, yes to just bless someone mm -hmm. else that needs it more and then you forget about your own troubles because mm -hmm. you're out there doing what God wants you to do. That's right. And then the funny thing about that is a lot of women have told me, you've really blessed me. Yes. You know, but what they don't fail to realize is that it goes both ways. Yes. God is blessing yes. them and God is blessing me right. at the same right. time. Amen. And so it, it I just love to be of service. Mm -hmm. And yes. if I can pray for someone and intercede for someone, then... That's what I'm meant to do at Amen. the time. And that's how I get myself with that fire yeah. to keep going. And I just keep it the next day. I do the same thing over and over. And there's times, I'll be honest, I don't want to. Yes. But in those times that I don't <laughs> want to, yes. I push myself to do it. Because mm -hmm. when I do, I start feeling like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to go to Bible study. I'm tired. Lord, I worked. Yes. I, I want to stay home. And it's in those times that God will remind me, you mm -hmm. got to press, you got to keep going. Yes. Yeah. And yes. the moment that I arrive mm -hmm. at my Bible study, I mm -hmm. usually, when once the worship hits, yeah. it's all gone. Yeah. Whatever I was <clears throat> battling or thinking or just that feeling of, I'm just so tired, mm -hmm. I just feel renewed. Yes. I feel like a new person again. So I just want to encourage you, if you're feeling like that, just keep pressing, keep seeking, even though mm. you get off of work and you're tired and you yes, don't want to go to Bible right, study, you don't right. want to go to yes. church. Some of you women or men Jesus. might think, I can't even pray right now. I don't know what to say. Mm. The word of God says when we don't know what to pray, he's beside us praying mm. over us. Just keep pressing <clears throat> and God will meet you where you're at. Beautiful, beautiful, yes. beautiful. Absolutely. Yes. That, is really yes. that is, that is awesome. Um, you know, I was just listening to you, and I was just thinking, because I'm very, very visual, and um, I don't know how many of you are out there that can do this, but, but I just want you to just kind of close your eyes right yes. now, and wherever you are, 
course not driving, but <laughs> close your eyes wherever you are and just ask the Lord, am I stagnant, Lord? Am, is there something in me that is causing uh, a stagnant uh, uh, condition in me? Is there something I'm holding on to? Is there something that I'm carrying? Is there something that's keeping you from all that you have for me? Lord, I just ask you right now, that woman, that man, whoever it is, Lord God, I just lift them up to you right now, Father. Lord, I just ask that you will open up their spiritual eyes, Lord, and let them see, Father. Let them see in those deep, deep, dark places. What are they carrying? Why are they not, you know, growing or moving forward or whatever? What is that one thing that they absolutely positively refuse to put down because that's the very thing that's clogging up as i said in the first part of the show the arteries you know and that plaque that is keeping from the blood flow but i but not only the blood flow but the flow of the holy spirit the flow of god to just it, just his very very the very essence of who he is in you i just call that forth right now in jesus name and that that the plaque or whatever it is that's clogging up those arteries depression anxiety rejection abandonment self-hatred i come against that spirit of self-hatred right now in jesus name i send that thing back to hell where it came from i thank you lord i thank you father that no weapon no tactic no assignment no maneuver is going to prosper in this precious woman's life i thank you lord god that you give her new eyes to see new ears to hear and a new heart a new heart lord a new heart that seeks after you. Lord, remove, remove the plaque. Remove the, whatever it is that's clogging up, not only the arteries, Lord, but I see, Lord God, that there needs to be heart surgery, that you need to get into the heart, Lord, and you need to remove those hurts and those wounds that that one placed in her heart the husband that has left, the mother that abused her daughter, whatever that is, Lord, you're the only one. You're the only one that can remove that. So there will be no more stagnant uh, thing going on in you. And that that you're, you're the flow of the Holy Spirit, the flow of the, the freedom and the healing would overflow in that, in that precious one, Lord God. I just see that in the Spirit. Just, just ask the Lord. Just ask Him right now. Mm. Heal me, Lord. Restore me. Set me free from the past. Set me free from those things that I don't even know what I'm carrying, but God does, God does. I, I see like a, a, a vision of, of, of this tiny, tiny little water, like a, a, like a lake and, and um, there's, it's a brook. It's like a brook and there's all these different rocks and the rocks are all gathered around and I see that the rocks are keeping from the flow of the ocean the ocean to be able to come into that little brook and and make that brook free. I just kind of see that in the spirit, where you you just need to be set free so so that water can flow freely, and so the the ocean the, the literally the presence the glory of God in the very essence of who He is comes in and refreshes and allows that water to be opened up and the rocks that are that are there those are rocks of abandonment rejection um, hatred unforgiveness i'm never going to forgive that one i'm never ever going to forgive that one but those are rocks and they're in your heart and they need to be removed in jesus name Woo. wow yes beautiful did, did you want to say anything while i cry <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So mm. we know that um, the opposite of stagnant is 
overflowing. Yes. And when I think of the word overflowing, I mean an abundance of yes. something good happening. I mean blessings. Yes. So we know that the the water, the overflowing, the flooding. Yes. Oh my God, the flooding. Yes. Of Him. So this is where the Lord took me with overflowing. So we know that we had the stagnant with the Israelites, with Moses, what he had to deal with. Yes. Right? Of them crossing the Red Sea. But we also have the Jordan River. Mm -hmm. The river for me of overflowing. Now, if we if if we are we educate ourselves and so forth, but we see as the Red Sea there was waters all over, meaning like an ocean, a mm -hmm. sea. I said, man, I wish I would have been a fly or a fish in that oh, time or for something. Sakes, let me tell right? you. Oh, but I would have wanted, I said, my goodness, I said to myself, if I would have crossed, Lord, I would have just kissed the ground and just hallelujah, you know, just <laughs> hallelujah and dancing and the whole bit. Yes. But so we see that the Jordan River, um, and if we educate ourselves in the word and so forth, mm -hmm. is that it runs one direction. Like a stream of water. Yeah, that's what I saw kind of in the spirit. So this is a thing. Yes, exactly. That little brook so, and then opening up for the one. ocean to come in and yes. set that little brook exactly. free. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. So it's all connecting. It's all connecting. Yes. So how the overflowing, and you had shared already some of it that, yes, we need to keep our prayer yes. altars burning. Mm -hmm. we, we're human. I mean, I, rem I remind my family that in my household, mm -hmm. you know, Priscilla, yeah. can I be spiritual 24-7? I mean, you know, I'm going to no. get a little bit upset because somebody didn't pick up the trash right. or so forth. You know what I <laughs> right, mean? Right, right. You know, and pick up the towel, put it away. Yeah. But again, is that we have Joshua, and I love Joshua, let me tell you. Uh, it, it just reading about him and knowing, I just see him as this like warrior, like this grand warrior and a fighter, and I'm there. Okay, I don't, I, I don't know what's going to... Uh, maybe happen, but I'm there. You're going to lead me in. And Joshua was another wonderful leader. Mm -hmm. Yet he had to deal with the Israelites. And see, the Jordan River is also a place of a rebirth. Something new. Yes. Something totally different. Yes. Let me tell you, God was showing me. I, I was like so blown away that he even gave me the word... Um, what is it? Um, consecrate. Consecrate. Yeah. But where God is leading us or led me to this of the overflowing. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, that was all God. And I, I say to myself, why didn't these people get it? So they lacked. This is where, where these people lacked. Now heading on to the Jordan River. Now you think about it. It was an 11 day journey that took 40 years. <laughs> Why 40 years? There was again, a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. And this is what, and, and, and let me tell you, people of God, the Lord had gave me this word for you, for all of us, mm -hmm. all of us, daughters, sons of him. Amen. And I said, Lord, this is, this is what he told me in my prayer time. It says, Priscilla, I want to bless my people. Tell them I want to bless them, but they lack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They lack and they hinder the blessings that I want to give them because of spiritual maturity yes. and obedience. Right yes. there. Yes. Yes. Obedience Amen. is something Amen. very important. Mm. I mean, yes, oh. above all key obedience. Yes. We've already heard it. Obedience is better than, than sacrifice. sacrifice. Yes. Totally. So now, and I'm gonna put myself in this, um, Debbie, and share with you guys something completely changed my life 12 years ago. I had said it in the first first part that went um, on the stagment of part one, that uh, how I came to know the Lord. But when I say something 12 years, and it probably sounds recently to you, for me, well, not really. It feels like yesterday. Mm -hmm. But something happened, something took place in Priscilla's life. There was a rebirth. So when God took me here and I said, oh my God, Lord, I know what you're trying to tell me. I <laughs> know what I think I'm. you want me to say. But see... The time that I, and the length of time that I had known God from the age of 19 and all the way 34, I was 34 when my dad passed away. 
there's something that occurred there in my relationship with the Lord, meaning it was like casual, you know, um, never did wrong to anybody and never hurt anyone. Um, if they hurt me, yeah, well, you know, like I said, opposition has been there all my life, even before I was serving God. Um, I didn't hurt a fly. I just, I was the type of person, you hurt me. I don't want to do nothing with you. Just stay away. Right, right. That was hard for me to forget. I would just, just stay away. Right. But so as I came to know the Lord and so forth, again, um, when we come to know the Lord, it's a place where we should die, die to our flesh, oh, sins, yes. all that. But what happens? What do we do? It's sad to say that when years go on by, for whatever reason, we ending up, we still have like, it's like a piece of gum. Some of, some sin is like sticking on us like a piece of gum. We never <laughs> left it there at the cross. Yeah. We're still dragging it like the way Linus and the peanuts, you know, and the peanuts kind of, they drives the little blanket kind of the thing. The dirty Yeah, there blanket. you go. So there you go. Dirty, see? Yeah. See, so what I'm trying to say with a, a rebirth, I see when my dad passed away there was something that died in priscilla's life and i'm going to tell you my typical life my housewife and yes i i cleaned houses i had a rod of me you name it i've done different different stuff you know jobs whatever but all that started changing where i knew and i did what i was taught be faithful to love, to be faithful to the Lord, love the Lord. And this is what I said when I said, okay, Lord, I'm going to have to bury another parent. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to have to say, Lord, either I'm going to lose it this time and my husband's going to lose his wife. My children are going to lose their mother and I'm just going to be sitting mm -hmm. on a rocking chair and so forth. <laughs> right. right? You know? And just, yeah. Right. So uh, I'm trying wow. and I know cause we're pressing on time, but there to there there was taken a should I say a rebirth had taken over in my life where I completely died to the flesh mm. and let him completely take over. Amen. Completely take over. That's let the only way you, we can survive. Yes. And in our lives, and this is what the Lord is is had showed me that as sons and daughters of him we do not even understand or even do what consecrate. Mm. Consecrate completely in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew language, it means prepare, dedicate, um, meaning die to self, meaning hollow, empty, empty yourself, holy, and the last set apart. Oh, come oh, on. Amen. Right there. Right there. I said, oh my God, Priscilla, but I can't do that. Well, can I tell you, I can lead you there, but I cannot take you. <laughs> I, can, I can lead you there by talking. Yes. But the spirit of the Lord will take you there. That's right. How hungry yeah. are you for him? Mm -hmm. How much do you love him? Mm -hmm. How much are you willing to sacrifice? Meaning, how much are you willing to do for him? Are you willing to go the extra mile? Come on. Again, how much do you love this man? This beautiful, precious man that has blessed you and wants to bless you and wants you to reach, cross the Jordan and reach to your promises, the promised land. Look at this, Deuteronomy 27.3. Look at this. When you cross over so that you may enter the land which the Lord God gives you, a land, listen, listen. A land flowing with milk, milk and, and honey. honey. As the Lord, the God of your fathers, promised you. This is how the wise see milk. We know the presentation that God gives us in the word. But what the Holy Spirit gave me, milk, nourishment. When we have babies, when we've nursed them, it's nourishment. The word of God. Mm -hmm. Doing things the right, the right way. When I say right way, righteous and honey. Oh my goodness, the blessings. And when I say blessings, <laughs> please don't start thinking about all the monetary and other things that you want. Okay, the desires, I understand that. But what does it say in the word of God? Seek first. Seek ye first the, the kingdom of the God. The kingdom of God. That means seek him. Mm -hmm. That means love him. Mm -hmm. That means my parents always taught me, my mentors, my parents, they would say, seek Priscilla, seek him first. And everything else will be stapled behind that. Your blessings and all that, meaning the spiritual blessings. That's what wow. I want. Yes. That's what I want. I want more of him. I'm hungry. I'm crazy for him. Let me tell you, I'm just a retired 
uh, um, PK. I don't have, I don't have credentials to preach. I, I'm not ordained. I don't have none of that. If I were, if you were to go into my office when I have one, there isn't going to be nothing on the wall, but a certificate stating the month and the year that I got saved. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a chick. I'm a girl. I'm a lady after God's own heart, after Yeshua's heart. That's all yes. I can say about myself. Yes, amen. But I'm going to tell you, these Israelites had it. Yes. But they couldn't get mm -hmm. it. And again, lack of yes. spiritual maturity. This is what the Spirit of the Lord gave me. Yes. People, yes. He wants to bless yeah. you. Allow a rebirth amen. to take over in your life and allow the anointing of God to overflow. Yes. You may be, yes, a housewife. It's awesome. Been there. Yes, totally. Allow the Lord to anoint you Amen. to be the mother, Amen. the wife, the sister, you name it, that exactly. he wants friend. you to be. The friend. Exactly. Everyone needs yes, a little friend. bit of what water yes. we've got flowing in us. That's Thank, you. For sure. Thank you. Yes. Everybody there you needs go. it. Everybody there you in, go. Go. in the neighborhood needs it. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll know. splash, we'll just get this and yes. just we're not gonna do it now, but shh. <laughs> exactly. you know, all over. I got enough. There you I go. I got enough. I never run go. out. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, Tammy always yeah. wonders, why am I here? Wow. Why am I in Minnesota? <laughs> why did you put me here, God? And we talk all the time. And she tells me, Mom, you know, this lady just tried to hang herself. Mom, this lady just came to me mm -hmm. and, and, you know, she's in, in you know, in addiction. And, Ma, and I'm like, Tammy, you are the little the little Mother Teresa, you know, of Minnesota or what I, I was Not telling Mother her that. Teresa. Not Mother Teresa, but, you know, <laughs> you're, the, you're the little missionary, missionary in Minnesota. And God uses her in powerful ways. Mm. I want to be the ambassador of joy because that lacks oh, everywhere. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. It's, yeah. Yes. Yes. She's going yes. to have her own show in Minnesota. I don't know about that. We're, it's, we're not. Let's. And let's, it's why called not? Let's, the uh, ambassador of joy. <laughs> throw, throw the flow. We're gonna throw. There you go. There you go. Don't you just love how? Do you remember when you and I were sitting many, many years ago, and I was traveling around sharing my testimony, and people were asking me for my card. I said, "What would I put on that card?" You and I looked at each other at the same time. And we came up with Butterfly Ministries. Beautiful. We heard it, both of us. So you just prophesied. So thank you, thank you, thank yes. you so much for joining us. Love you, and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.